In pre of fall 1945, visitors are accumulated for the wedding after party of where Vito Corleone's little girl Connie Italia Shira and Carlo Rizia Johnny Russo or Vito Marlon Brando, the top of the Corleone Mafia family, is referred to companions and partners as backup parent. He and Tom Hagen and Robert Davala, the Corleone family legal counselor, are hearing solicitations for favors in light of the fact that, as per Italian practice, no Sicilian can decline a solicitation on his little girl's big day. One of the ones who asks the wear for some help is Amrigo Bonacera, a fruitful undertaker. In the meantime, the wear's most youthful child, Michael Alpacino, a beautified us marine legend getting back from the Second Great War administration, shows up at the wedding and tells his better half Kay Adams that I'm keeping the tales about his family, illuminating her about his dad's criminal life. He consoles her that he is not the same as his family and doesn't want to go along with them in their criminal dealings. The wedding scene fills in his basic piece until the end of the film, as Michael acquaints the fundamental characters with K. Frito John Casalia, Michael's next more established sibling, is a piece dumb and very inebriated when likewise among the visitors at the festival is the popular vocalist Johnny Fontana Al Martino Corleone's godson, has come from Hollywood to request a Vito's assistance in handling a film job that will renew his Halen profession. Jack Waltz at John Marley, the top of the studio, denies Fontana the section the person similar as Johnny himself of, which will make him a much greater star, yet where Corleone clears up for Johnny I will make him a proposition he can't afford to ignore. The where likewise gets salutary welcome from Luca Brasi, a frightening master in the criminal hidden world, and takes care of a solicitor. After the wedding, Hagen is dispatched to Los Angeles to meet with Waltz. However, Waltz rightly lets him know that he won't ever projected Fontana on the job. Waltz holds resentment on the grounds that Fontana lured and demolished a celebrity who Waltz had been prepping for fame and with whom he had a sexual relationship. Waltz is convinced to give Johnny the job, notwithstanding, when he gets up promptly the following morning and feels something wet in his bed. He pulls back the sheets and ends up in a pool of blood and he shouts with dismay when he finds the cut off top of his valued $600,000 stud horse. Kurtum, in the bed with him, and array upon Hagen's return. The family meets with Virgil the Turk Solozzo El Lateria, who is being upheld by the adversary to Taglia family. He asks where Corleone for supporting as well as political and legitimate insurance for bringing in and disseminating Heron. Notwithstanding the colossal benefit to be made, Vito Corleone rejects, making sense of that his political impact would be imperiled by a move into the opiates exchange of adjudicators and legislators he's aligned himself with throughout the span of a very long while would revoke their fellowships with him if he somehow happened to enter the medication exchange. The where's oldest child, son, not long after his gathering with Solozzo, where Corleone is gunned down in a death endeavor right external his office, and it isn't quickly known whether he has made due. Frito Corleone had been doled out driving and assurance obligation for his dad when Polly Gatto, the where's typical guardian, had phoned and wiped out. Frito ends up being incapable, bumbling with his weapon in a minute to shoot back. At the point when Sonny finds out about the where being shot in Polly's noni painterance, he arranges Clemenza or Richard S. Hostelano, one of his dad's to Capra Gimes, to track down Polly and carry him to the where's home. So Lutzo steals Tom Hagen and holds him for a few hours convincing him to offer Sonny the arrangement recently proposed to his dad. At the point when Tom is delivered, Solozzo gets word that the wear has endured the endeavor on his life. He rightly advises Tom to persuade Sonny to acknowledge his deal. Wrinkled, Sonny won't think about it and issues a final proposal to the Tataglis to turn over Solozzo or face an extensive, horrendous and exorbitant afore the decides a pack war. They deny, and on second thought sends Sonny a Sicilian message. As to new fish enveloped by Luca Brasi's tactical armor, let the Corleones know that Luca Brasi lays down with the fishes. Clemenza later takes Polly and one of the family's contract killers, Rocco Lomponi, for a crash into Manhattan. Sonny needs to take care of businesses, set up beds and lofts for Corleone button men to work out of if the Rondwin War breaks out. Returning from Manhattan, Clemenza has Polly stop the vehicle in a distant region so he can pee. Rocco shoots Polly dead he and Clemenza abandon Polly in the vehicle. Michael, whom the other Mafia families consider a regular citizen and not associated with crowd business, visits his dad at a little confidential clinic in the wake of Ian with Kay at her end. He is stunned to observe that nobody is monitoring him or a medical caregiver lets him know that the men were obstructing emergency clinic strategy and were educated to leave by the police concerning 10 minutes before Mike's appearance. Understanding that his dad is again being set up to be killed, he calls Sonny for help, 
moves his dad to another room, and goes outside to watch the entry. Michael enrolls help for him the dough puncher of Gabriel Toria, who is following the endeavor on the wearer's life at the emergency clinic. Solozo demands a gathering with the Corleones, which Chief McCluskey will go to as Solozo guardian. At the point when Michael volunteers to kill the two men during the gathering, Sonny and the other senior relatives are entertained in any case. Michael persuades them that he is significant, and that killing Solozo and McCluskey is to the family's advantage or it's not private. It's totally straightforward, on the grounds that Michael is viewed as a regular citizen, he will not be viewed as a dubious minister for the Corleones. In spite of the fact that cops are as a rule untouchable for him, Michael meets with Clemenza, who readies a little gun for him, covering the trigger and hold with tape to forestall any unique finger impression proof. He trains Michael about the appropriate method for playing at the death and advises him to abandon the firearm. He additionally lets Michael know that the family were all extremely glad for Michael for turning into conflict legend during his administration in the Marines and that a conflict like the looming one that Solozo and McCluskey's killings will start is fundamental about each five to ten years to clear out the desire and disdain that forms between the five families. Clemenza shows incredible certainty that Michael came before the gathering in a little Italian cafe in the Bronx. McCluskey searches Michael for weapons and thinks that he is spotless. Following a couple of moments where Michael and Solozzo speak in Italian, Michael pardons himself to go to the washroom, where he recovers the established pistol. Getting back to the table, he luckily shoots Solozzo. Then McCluskey, Michael is shipped off conceal in Sicily while the Corleone family gets ready for full-scale fighting with the five families who are joined against the Corleones as well as an overall clamp down on the crowd by the police and government specialists. After 90 days, when the word gets back from the medical clinic, he is upset to discover that it was Michael who killed Solozzo and McCluskey. In the meantime, Connie and Carlo's marriage is deteriorating. They contend every now and again over Carlo's thought and faithfulness and his possessive way of behaving toward Connie. By Italian custom, no one, not so much as a high-positioning mafia wear, can mediate in a wedded couple's very own questions, regardless of whether they include treachery, cash, or homegrown maltreatment. At some point, Sonny sees an injury all over and she lets him know that Carlo hit her. After she inquired as to whether he was having an unsanctioned romance, Sonny finds and seriously beats Carlo in a jam-packed road for mistreating the pregnant. Afterward, Carlo has one of his escorts telephone his home, realizing that Connie will reply. The lady requests that Connie tell Carlo not to meet her this evening. The exceptionally pregnant and upset Connie pitches a fit, tossing the plates with their supper around the lounge area and kitchen. Carlo exploits the fight to beat Connie to draw Sonny out in the open and away from the Corleone compend. At the point when Connie telephones the compend to let Sonny know that Carlo has beaten her once more, the angered Sonny drives off alone in number that did a dissatisfy his aggressive statement against Carlo. En route to Connie in Carlo's home, Tom Hagen transfers the insight about Sonny's slaughter to the where, asks for help from Bonacera to deal with the preserving of Sonny's body actually as opposed to look for vengeance for Sonny's killing, where Corleone meets with the tops of the five families to arrange a truce. Besides the fact that the contention depleting is every one of their resources and compromising their endurance, yet finishing it is the main way that Michael can get back securely. Turning around his past choice, Vito concurs that the Corleone family would give political security to Tataglia's traffic in heroin, for however long it is controlled and not offered to kids. In Sicily, Michael quietly endures his exile. Safeguarded by where Tomasino or Grotto Gepo, an old family companion, Michael randomly meanders the open country, joined by his always present guardians, Carlo Franco Sidio and Fabrizio Angelo Infantia. In a little town, Michael meets and goes gaga for a polony of Italia Simonetta Stefanelli, the lovely youthful girl of a bar proprietor. They court and wed in the customary Sicilian style. However, soon Michael's presence becomes known to Corleone foes. At some point, while Michael is helping his new lady of the hour to drive, Tomasi, with his well-being insured, Michael gets back. Over a year after the fact, in 1950, he reunites with his previous sweetheart K following a sum of four years of division of three in Italy and one in America. He tells her he maintains that them should be hitched. Despite the fact that K is harmed that he stood by so lengthy to reach her, she acknowledges his proposition. With where Vito semi resigned, Sonny dead, and center sibling Frito considered an equipited for maintaining the privately run company. Michael is currently in control, he guarantees K he will make the privately run company totally authentic in five years or less. After two years, 
Clemenza and Salvatore Tessiore Vigoto, whine that they are being moved around by the Brazzini family and request that authorization strike back, yet Michael denies the solicitation. He intends to move the family tasks to Nevada and from that point forward, Clemenza and Tessio might split away to shape their own families in the New York region. Michael further commitments Connie's significant other, Carlo, that he will be his right-hand man in Nevada. Carlo had grown up there, ignorant about his part in Sonny's death, has been eliminated as consigliere and is presently only the fan. One more year or so later, Michael goes to Las Vegas and meets with Mo Green, Alex Rockor, a rich and quick gambling club supervisor, hoping to extend his transactions. After the Ware's Endeavor death, Frito had been shipped off Las Vegas to find out about the gambling club business from Green. Michael egotistically offers to purchase out Green yet his discordesweez repelled. Green accepts the Corleones are feeble and that he can get a more ideal arrangement from Berzini. As Mo and Michael heatedly arrange, Frito sides with Mo. After Mo stomps out of the gathering, Michael cautions Frito to at absolutely no point. Michael gets back, in a confidential second. Vito makes sense of his assumption that the family's foes will endeavor to kill Michael by utilizing a confided in partner to orchestrate gathering as a guise for death. Vito likewise uncovers that he had never truly expected an existence of Rondwin for Michael, trusting that his most youthful child would hold genuine power as a representative or lead representative. A few months after the fact, Vito implodes and kicks the bucket while playing with his young grandson Anthony Anthony Gennariza in his tomato garden. At the entombment, Tessio conveys a proposition for a gathering with Berzini, which recognizes Kay inquires as to whether he'll consent to be back a parent to Connie and Carlo's infant child. Michael concurs and jumps all over the chance to kill rivalry from the other five families while likewise involving the submersion as a vindication. The homicides happen all the while during the function I where Stracci where Costello is gunned down alongside his guardian in an in lift by a shotgun using Clemenza. Mo Green is killed while having a back rub shot through there by an unidentified professional killer. Where Cuneo or Rudy Bonda is caught in a rotating entryway at the St. Regis lodging and shot dead by warrior Willie Ciccio Joe Spinella. Where Tataglia is killed in bed alongside a whore by Rocco Lamponi and an obscure partner. Where Berzini is killed on the means of his place of business alongside his protector and driver, shot by El Neri Richard Splendida, masked in his old police uniform. After the absolution, Tessio accepts he and Hagen are en route to the gathering among Michael and Brzezini that he has organized. All things considered, he is encircled by Willie Chichi and other button men as Hagen steps away. Understanding that Michael has revealed his treachery, Tessio lets Hagen know that he generally regarded Michael, and that his unfaithfulness was just business. He inquires as to whether Tom can get him off for buying as a purpose. However, Tom says he can't. Tessio is driven away and gone forever it is suggested that Chichi shoots and kills Tessio with his own firearm after he incapacitates him preceding entering the vehicle. In the meantime, Michael goes up against Carlo about Sonny's homicide and powers him to concede his job in setting up the snare, having been drawn near by Brzezini himself. Other assassins who killed Sonny were the center individuals from Brzezini's own protector. Michael guarantees Carlo he won't be killed. However, his discipline is avoidance from a privately owned company. He hands Carlo a boarding pass to Austin, Las Vegas. Notwithstanding, when Carlo gets into a vehicle set out toward the air terminal, he is quickly guarded to death by Clemenza on Michael's requests. Afterward, a crazy Connie stands up to Michael at the Corleone comp and as movers divert the furniture in anticipation of the family move to Nevada. She blames him for killing Carlo in revenge for Carlo's ruthless treatment of her and for Carlo's thought association in Sonny's homicide and that Michael cunningly held on until their dad came.